Hello, my name is Elliot Mallard. I'm one of the cello teachers here at Opus One Music Studio. Uh, I'd like to share a couple of tips and insights that I've uh, found helpful over the years. Uh, so let's begin. Tip number one, practice slowly. I'm sure we've all heard this before. I know I certainly heard this from every teacher I ever studied with. Um, but you know, over the years I've learned that uh, really the most effective way to practice is to practice slowly. Um, so many issues really can be avoided by just slowing down. Uh, slow practice really uh, gives you time to analyze exactly what you're doing and, and pinpoint critical issues in your playing. It's really the number one tool we have uh, for avoiding mistakes and uh, for avoiding bad habits. So really the number one tip uh, that I could give you is to practice slowly. Tip number two, get better at listening. Uh, and what I mean by that is learn to listen to exactly what is coming out of your instrument. Uh, developing your ear is really critical to becoming a better musician. And an easy way we can start doing that is by recording ourselves. I'm sure most of us have access to, uh, to an iPhone or, or an iPad. Use it as a tool uh, and as a quick and easy way to, to record yourself. I'm sure many of you uh, will be surprised by how you actually sound and will probably gain deeper insight into the issues uh, in your own playing. Uh, so tip number two, you know, develop that ear and, and get good at listening. Tip number three, have a specific vision for the piece you're currently working on. If we don't know exactly how we want to sound, it's hard to know exactly what direction we need to take our practicing. Uh, it can be helpful to listen to recordings of the pieces you're working on or, you know, go watch performances of your favorite musician uh, performing the piece you're working on. You know, if you're a cellist, go listen to uh, Stephen Israelis or, or Truls Mork uh, and maybe you can get inspired and, 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 and form some ideas of your own. And, you know, you can take those ideas and discuss them with your teacher. Uh, but by doing these things, we can come up with a clear and, and deliberate interpretation of the music we're playing. And then once you have this, I think it'll give your practicing more purpose and, and give you the ability to take your practicing in a really clear uh, direction. So, uh, yeah, you know, come up with a vision and, and be specific on exactly how you want to sound. Uh, and, you know, this isn't... Um, you know, only reserved for, say, advanced players. It doesn't really matter if you're playing the French folk song or, or the sixth box cello suite. The, the process is exactly the same. Um, you have to ask yourself, how do I want to sound um, and what can I do to achieve that? And, and focus your practicing on, on making that vision become a reality. Uh, so tip number three is to, to have a vision for exactly how you want to sound. And my final tip is to practice performing. I always found it interesting that we spend most of our time either playing only for ourselves or for our teacher, but really not much time at all performing for an audience. Although most of our time should be spent practicing slowly and deliberately, uh, I think it's important to remember that practice feels very different than performing. So I think many would benefit from finding time every week to do fully committed run-throughs of whatever piece we're working on uh, for an audience. And it really doesn't matter the size of that audience. It could be for a friend or a member of our family. Um, by doing this, not only do we become better performers, I think we gain uh, better insight into what parts of our piece still need work. Uh, there's some aspects of playing that can really uh, only be fully understood by by performing. So find time every week uh, to, to run through your music for people. I think it's really critical uh, to building our skills um, as musicians. So that's my final tip, practice performing.